right, we wanted to show you guys this. First time I've ever used this tapping head. This thing is sweet. So it's spring loaded both directions so that it floats. And then it's got a clutch built in and it's got, I uh, can't see it from this side. There it is. So it's got all different size taps around it that um, you set it for that size tap. It's got a slip clutch that in theory will slip before it breaks a tap this size. And then it's uh, really sweet because it's got a, a pretty awesome uh, chuck mechanism built into it to grab all different size. It goes from quarter inch all the way up to three quarters, all with that same holder. So anyway, pretty stinking sweet. I'm going to uh, tap some holes here a minute show you how she runs. But this thing is the shiznit, let me tell you. See there, I just kind of keep up with it a little bit. Dad, why don't you tell him when you first um, tried it, that tool thing came out? Yeah, I pulled up too hard with it and uh, popped it out of the Morris Taper shank on the first attempt. But... It's supposed to have a key in it. Yeah, it's designed to use a keeper key, and I didn't have one in it, so. Things a floating head to it's say it's wild. It does a lot of crazy stuff. Self-aligning. Uh, incremental feed. What does it do? I don't know if you guys can see this. This thing uh, has a floating design built into it so that you don't have to be perfectly aligned. Like, amazing tool. Is that cool? Is this machine kind of handy because you can move it around yep. in all different ways. Yep, it definitely is. It's very handy machine. Video of this machine? Um, I don't think I've done one specifically of it. Hmm. Working on something like this? going. Dad, the video is going. Alright. That's interesting. I had been playing with the uh, 
slip clutch mechanism. We'll set it to three eighths here once. Can we put this in the camera stand? Can you put this in the stand? Oh, we're about to be done. That's the last hole we're going to do. Alright, there you can see the uh, slip clutch spin. I had her set to quarter inch. I just wanted to make sure it was actually going to stop. It wasn't sticky, but pretty dang slick. Those are blind holes that I just ran. I would say possibly the coolest tanking attachment I have ever laid my hands on. So anyway, it floats. It's got um, spring float built into it on the travel and a slip clutch and then it fits everything from quarter to three quarters amazing tool all right that's good wiggles you can shut her down